Hello to you, my beautiful friend. My name is Noah Lakshmi. Welcome to my channel. If you are a first timer, then welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, then thank you so much for coming back. This is another Kundalini yoga video coming to you today. And today is going to be a bit of a different practice, especially if you've seen some of my Kundalini yoga videos. This is um, a workout slash make you feel good Kundalini yoga routine that can replace your coffee, can replace anything else that you need for energy and help you to actually get high. Like I said in my description, get high, feel energized and infuse your day with a lot of vitality and energy. So this is the practice that we'll be doing today. And at the end, we are going to do a Kundalini meditation, a Kundalini Kriya with a specific mantra. And that Kriya is amazing and powerful and helps you to strengthen your electromagnetic field which gives you a lot more of inner strength and helps you to walk in the world with a lot more confidence and being connected to the divine intelligence that lives within you and all around you. So we'll get to that at the end. Um, awesome Kriya. In this practice, about 20 minutes that you're gonna get your heart rate up, get super energized and have a lot of fun. So before we get into this amazing, energizing and fun practice, if you like what you're seeing right here, the clothes that I'm wearing, then please check out the link down below, Sacred Vision Designs. There is amazing artwork and in these incredible clothes that you can buy. These are so comfy for yoga um, or just walking around, dancing. This is super, super comfortable and powerful clothes to wear. So if you like what you see, check out the link down below. There's also a discount code for you to get a top, to get pants, to get bows. There's some other stuff there too, and really awesome artwork as well. If you want to beautify your space and beautify your body and feel powerful and alive. And now let's get into the practice today. So in Kundalini Yoga, we always begin with tuning in. You bring your hands together in a prayer position, close your eyes, find a comfortable seat, press your palms together, and gently press your thumbs against your chest so you can actually feel your heartbeat. Keep your eyes closed for the majority of the practice and bring your focus within. Focus on your breath, focus on your body, focus on your heart beating in your chest, and we're definitely going to increase this heart of yours beating in your chest much stronger. And we begin with a chant, Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo, which means I bow to the teacher within me. I bow to the, intellig to the universal intelligence that lives in every cell in my body. Bowing to the teachers, that came before us and are still guiding us on this path. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo, we're gonna be chanting that three times. So start by rubbing your palms together vigorously, creating heat in between your hands, starting to activate your heart, activating your entire body. I recommend doing this practice in the morning, but of course you can do it at any time. Don't do it at night though if you wanna to go to sleep. All right, and then press your palms back together. Feel the sensations in your body. Feel the energy between your palms. Take a deep breath in to begin. And exhale through the mouth. Now we're gonna chant three times. Deep inhale. Oh.
Inhale, deep breath. Now hold your breath. Pull on your root lock. That's your mula band. Like you need to go to the bathroom. You contract the muscles of your perineum, lower belly. Keep your eyes closed. Hold the breath in. Chin is slightly down towards your chest. Hold the breath as long as you can. And when you're ready, big exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Release your breath. Release your hands onto your knees. And we're going to start right away by making big circles with your body. Inhale, circle your body forward, and exhale, circle your body back. And keeping your eyes closed here, really feel this big movement, big breath. You want to feel your nostrils as you inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose, Just making big, big circles, starting to warm up your lower body, the lower part of your body. And then change directions. Inhale as you circle your body forward. Exhale, circle the body back. One more circle on this side. And then pause in the center. Bring your arms up. Straight arms, curl your fingers in, thumbs are pointing towards each, each other. And we're gonna do breath of fire here, so you pump your navel up and in, keeping your arms straight, keeping your shoulders relaxed, eyes closed, and let's do it. <laughs> So keep pumping your navel up and in, up and in. It's a sharp and quick breath. You wanna wake up. Don't give up, keep going, just a few more seconds. It's a brand new day. And take a deep breath in. Hold the breath in. Pull on the mula band, your root lock. So you pull all those muscles in, the perineum, lower belly, all the way in and up. Keep your eyes focused on your third eye. Press your tongue to the roof of the mouth and hold it. Bring your thumbs to touch, extend the rest of your fingertips up towards the sky. And when you're ready, big exhale. Release your arms in a big semi-circle. Really feel that circle around you and bring your hands onto your knees, Gyan Mudra, thumbs and index touching, just for a deep breath in, center yourself and exhale. So you're going to keep on moving here, bring your arms at a 90 degree angle with your thumbs and your index touching. We're going to inhale to the right, exhale to the left. Keep your heart open by keeping your elbows back, shoulders back, chest is open. Open wide, move from side to side, strong breath through the nose, inhale and exhale. And then pause in the center, deep breath in. Hold the breath in, keep your arms in a 90 degree angle. Open heart, Ex contract your perineum, lower belly, abdomen, hold it, Who's ready to be energized? and then exhale, release your hands onto your knees, Gyan Mudra, thumbs and index touching, and again, inhale through your nose, exhale through the nose, beautiful, and now from here we're going to go into stretch pose, so you come on your back, lay on your back, point your toes, First, extend your arms, so fingertips towards your feet. The arms are a little bit elevated off the floor. Lift your head and your shoulders up, and then bring your legs up off the floor and start breath of fire. 
So if this is too much, you can lower your legs down, but keep your arms and your head up. Keep the breath going, breath of fire, pumping your navel. Deep breath in, hold it. Stretch your fingertips, stretch your toes. Hold the breath in. You got it, keep going. And exhale, release down to the ground. Hug your knees to your chest. Hold your knees with your hands. And now inhale, roll forward, exhale, roll back. Just gonna roll along the spine a few times. This is very energizing just by itself. So just roll forward, roll back. Keep your navel in, chin tucked. And then roll and come onto all four on your hands and knees. Your hands are right under your shoulders. Your knees are hip width distance. Bring your big toes to touch so you're creating a triangle shape with your legs. And now cat cow, inhale to arch your spine. Exhale to round with a vigorous breath through the nose. Close your eyes. You want this one to be relatively quick. Still be mindful of the way that you're moving your spine. And get energized by moving your breath together with your spine. Speed it, speed it up a little bit if you can. Now inhale, deep breath, arch your spine. Hold the breath in, hold the arch in your spine, chin up, keep your eyes closed, pull on the mula band on your root lock. Hold as long as you can. And now exhale, chin to the chest, round your spine, go all the way in, all the way in, all the way in, all the way in, until you can't go any more. And then hold it here, hold the breath out. And then inhale, come back to neutral position. Press, tuck your toes onto the ground and then press onto downward facing dog. Just find your dog here, feet hip width distance. Separate your hands so they're shoulder width distance. Press your palms firmly onto the ground. Press your heels down towards the floor. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale, heels down, hips up. And then walk your feet forward and come up to stand. So now that we are in standing position, separate your legs, separate your feet. Bring your arms to the side, in capital T. We're gonna inhale in the center and exhale, left hand to right ankle. Inhale to the top, right hand to left ankle. Keep your eyes open for this one because it's easy to get a little dizzy if your eyes are closed, but up to you, you can try that. But inhale, big breath in the center, exhale, touching hand to ankle, and just switch sides. Pull your navel in every time you lower down. That's gonna protect your lower back. Even say out loud, I feel great. This is fun. A few more moments. Inhale to come up, exhale to fall forward. Now inhale in the center, close your eyes, deep breath in. Extend your arms to the sides, really stretch your fingertips, palms facing forward. And just feel the bigness of who you are, feel the energy moving in your body, hold the breath in, hold the position. And exhale, release your arms down by your side. 
open your eyes, bring your feet together. Now we're just gonna walk in place and punch the space in front of you. So you wanna move quickly here. Lift your knees up quite high to hip, hip height, maybe a little higher. And move your arms in a powerful way. You can focus on one thing in front of you. Imagine that you're punching something that you just don't want in your life anymore, whatever it might be. And you're just saying, I am done with you. I am done with you. Just get the fun into it. Release any stagnant energy in your body. You can allow more energy to flow in. Just keep going. Lift your knees up. Move your arms. Don't give up. You're breathing normally through the nose. In and out. What are you saying goodbye to? What are you saying hello to? More energy, more vitality. More focus, more clarity. Starting your day right. Yes. Keep moving. Get your heart rate up. You can feel it. Good, and now deep breath in. Close your eyes, get your arms up, fingertips towards the sky. Hold it in just for a moment, feel your heart and exhale, big breath. <sighs> Release your arms down by your side. Good, and now separate your feet again, a little bit more than hip width distance. Is your heart rate up? Mine is up. Bring your hands onto your thighs, thumbs facing in. We're gonna do three lion's breaths here. So you inhale through your nose, stay in this position, lower yourself down so your legs are nice and strong. Inhale through your nose, keep your eyes open, and on the exhale, stick your tongue out, inhale. Lion's breath. One more inhale. Stick your tongue out. Beautiful, and then straighten your legs. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Reach your fingertips back behind you. And then to exhale, lower yourself down as much as you can. Get your arms up towards the sky. This is a great stretch for your shoulders. Stretching your heart. And then slowly bring your hands down to your lower back. Lift yourself back up. And now we're gonna come down to the ground again. Great, so now we're coming to the part and your heart rate is up for sure. You're feeling more energized. Can you just imagine yourself starting your day every day doing this? Only 20 minutes out of your life to feel awesome. I say go for it, it's worth it. Your entire day is gonna look different and your entire week and then your entire life, <laughs> so why not? Uh, now, the part of the Kundalini meditation, the, the Kriya, we're gonna do five minutes of this Kriya using the man two mantras, Sat Nam and Wahe Guru. So let me explain the, the mantra first and then we'll go into the movement, which is really simple. Sat Nam means truth is my identity. So you affirm that and everything else falls away, right? And just the truth remains of who you are as a soul. Wahe Guru means every cell in my body vibrates with the divinity of all of life. And so you affirm, affirm that as well. And you bring those two together, which is that is your truth, that every cell in your body is, is dancing with the ecstasy of life. And that's the potential. That's what lives within you. And that's what Kundalini Yoga helps us to um, uncover the truth of who we are. Now, what we're gonna do with the movement is we're gonna use, uh, you're gonna bring your thumbs in and, and cover your thumbs with the rest of your fingers except for your in index. So we're gonna be using the index finger, which is the Jupiter finger. And the Jupiter is associated with our expansion and our growth, good fortune, 
and abundance. Using the index fingers, we're gonna inhale, you're gonna say sat and bring the index to, to touch, nam to bring the index fingers to touch the ground. So sat, nam, sat, nam, and then wahe guru, wahe guru. So we we'll repeat sat nam twice, we we'll repeat wahe guru twice, the movement remains the same, arms go up, index fingers meet, and then arms go down, index fingers touch the floor. And by doing that, you are connecting, literally connecting heaven and earth, and you're connecting your crown, which is the connection to the cosmos and the heavens, and connecting your roots to the ground by touching the ground. Right, so that is the movement. We're gonna do that for five minutes. So again, do the best that you can. If you need to take a break, take a break. I wanna encourage you though, to stay with it as much as possible. And even if you stop moving your arms, you can still repeat the mantra, Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. Visualize yourself, see that mental image of you dancing with the ecstasy of all of life. All right, so let's begin. Index fingers are ready, on the ground, five minutes. Eyes closed. Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. 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 Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Wahe Guru. Wahe Guru. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Wahe Guru. Wahe Guru. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Wahe Guru. Wahe Guru. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. Sat Nam, Sat Nam. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. Sat Nam, Sat Nam. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. Sat Nam, Sat Nam. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Wahe Guru. Wahe Guru. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Wahe Guru. Wahe Guru. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Wahe Guru. Wahe Guru. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. Sat Nam, Sat Nam. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. Sat Nam, Sat Nam. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru. Sat Nam, Sat Nam. Wahe Guru. Wahe Guru. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Wahe Guru. Wahe Guru. Connect to your truth. Keep going. Connect to the truth of who you are. Connect to the ecstasy of all of life. And connect to that energy that emanates your body, the life force. 
dance with the ecstasy of life. You are that. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Wahe Ru. Wahe Ru. 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 Now deep breath in. Keep your arms up. Extend all of your fingertips up towards the sky. Open your palms and your hands. Hold the breath in. Drop all thoughts. Connect to the infinity that lives within you, that is you. Satnam Wahe Guru. Live by your truth and dance with the ecstasy of life. Exhale, bring your arms all the way down. Big breath out. Hands onto your knees, palms facing up, Gyan Mudra, thumbs and index touching, bringing about peace, relaxation, openness and receptivity into your entire being. So you can receive that truth, live by that truth, receive and surrender to the ecstasy of life. See your own greatness, feel that in your body. Slow deep breaths through the nose, inhale and exhale. And then keeping your eyes closed, transition yourself on your back into Shavasana. It's very important that you take this resting position for at least two minutes. If you can do more, Go for it, but for two minutes, relax your body completely, arms by your sides, a little bit away from the body so the body is relaxed, relax your feet. Breathe deep through the nose. Don't force your breath, but allow the breath to move gently in and out through the nose. time to relax. Let your thoughts just melt away with your breath. Immerse yourself in that sensation of truth and the ecstasy of life. Immerse yourself in the feeling of your own greatness. Every inhale, breathe in more joy, more relaxation, 
more abundance into your body and into your life. And every exhale, release any tension, physical, mental, emotional. Release anything that is holding you back from experiencing this true ecstasy that resides within every cell, every fiber of your being. Connecting to the divine intelligence that is just is. I invite you to stay in Shavasana as long as you wish. If you have the time for it, if you feel like it, go ahead. If you're ready, just roll slowly roll onto the side of your body. Just rest in a fetal position for a moment. And then when you're ready, press yourself gently up onto a sitting position, keeping your eyes closed, hands in front of your heart per position. And we're going to seal the practice with a chant that we used for our Kriya, one of them, Satnam, Truth is My Identity, and we're going to chant that together for three times. Deep breath in. Satnam. your head down, chin to chest, bring your thumbs in front of your forehead, thumbs touching your third eye, it's bowing down in gratitude, and choose to bring this energy into your day, choose to feel great, choose to be great, choose to live in your greatness, choose to dance in the ecstasy, with the ecstasy of life. Choose to see yourself as that divine creation of life itself. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice today. If you would like to see more of my videos, then please check out my channel for more Kundalini yoga videos and other videos. And if you want to get on the goods of these amazing clothes, then pl please check out the link down below. Uh, there's amazing artwork and super awesome clothes that don't only feel good and make you feel good, but they're actually really beautiful and other people feel good when they see you wearing them. So check it out and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Satnam.